gentlemen, please welcome making the walk to the cage for you in the blue corner, Michael Shino! First fighting out of the blue corner, representing Fight Academy Ireland with a record of five wins and five defeats. Please welcome Michael Shield! <laughs> Standing across the cage is opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing SPG Charlestown with a record of four wins and two defeats, presenting Aiden O'Boyle! Michael Shield in the pink, Aidan O'Boyle in the white. 
and black detail shorts. Potentially the biggest fight for Michael Shields so far, Paul. Yeah, 10 fights under his belt already. This is the 11th. Aidan O'Boyle has been in with a lot of good fighters and we've seen him here grow and develop as well. But I feel like this is going to be very evenly matched. Yeah, Michael Shields has been in this cage once before. That was a split decision loss to Marek Soup. He's very experienced. Three submission wins on that record. Five and five overall. Just fought last week against Jed Paolo, lost their contentious split decision. So he'll be eager to uh, get back in the win column. I heard uh, contentious is a polite way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> nice left hand landed there by Shields. It's a boil pressing here, but it's Shields who's doing the landing. Ooh, big left hook. Shields is getting him, or uh, O'Boyle is getting himself into a great range for these shots here, but Shields has been able to close the distance with clinches and grappling. His footwork is very good so far. Over commits on the Uchimada, and uh, was it Harry Goshi? Did he step across the leg? I believe he did. And, and get rolled in the process. Yeah. It's Aiden O'Boyle's fifth bout on this promotion. He's 3 and 1, so it's been a happy hunting ground for him so far. Four finishes as well. Wins over some good names, Jack Torn and Michael Cronley, who we've seen in here already tonight. Lost the Shields as uh, teammate Corey McLaughlin earlier on in his career as well. Good wrist control. That's a good. That was a good two-on-one attempt from Michael Shields because of what he had, but Aiden did really well to keep the top position here. Yeah, and it's, it's going to be a hard battle to do that. He got back to his feet very, very well. He used the wrist control to do it, yeah. It's so effective. You can just keep the wrist at a forearm. You can still leverage that to uh, create space to move your own hips, even from bottom mount. Oh, lovely duck underneath. Just managed to miss that right hand. Hasn't connected the hands yet, though. No, but Aiden's approaching some of these positions here like he's a North Dublin version of Dan Henderson. You know what I mean? With the shoulders cocked forward and rounded, and as if he's just hunting his opponent, looking for one big shot. We've seen him display excellent striking in the cage here before, and I would be, um, I'd be shocked if we saw him con continue this exact same game plan in the second and third. I think we're going to see a little bit more volume. Yeah. Certain shots to set up the bigger shots as such. Straight back into the action here. South Pavi Orthodox, the big right kick. Caught by Shields. Big heavy left hand. Caught well by Shields and most importantly off that ground exchange is that when he dropped, he was already dropped into an underhook. His left hand underhook is gonna help keep that position. Almost managed to get the hook in in that scramble. The boy gets back to the feet. Two nice short strikes there from Michael Shields as well to left. As O'Boyle was bringing himself back up to the feet. A slip by O'Boyle. I'm loving the lateral footwork of Shields. He's looked very uh, nimble this evening. He's switching stances very well. Nice little check hook and pivot.
That's found a home two or three times already this round, Paul. Yeah. That dip and straight right to the body. There's another. Yeah. And Boyle making that front foot pressure pay, and he's connected on a single here. Is he going to be able to drag Shields off the fence? Tries to switch to the double, misses, goes back to the single, the high crotch, pulls the leg out. And Shields defends very well. Big hammer fist stare from O'Boyle, but Shields picks the ankle out from underneath. Tries to pull the knee out too to take that base away. And he's gotten himself around to the side here, but O'Boyle has proven more oh, than Oh, I death. like that position, the way he's just peeling up the back foot so that O'Boyle can't scramble away, and then using the other hand to land some shots. Really tidy work here by Shields. Trying to free his left hand to go again, and he does so. And now he's managed to pin the two legs together. Shot to the back of the head, right in front of us, so... I don't think any damage was done. That one was clean to the side. Beautiful work there by Aiden O'Boyle. Excellent, but the wrist control is not yeah, enough to break strong. that. You'd nearly be thinking of swapping to a Kimura grip at this stage if you're, if you're Aiden, but he's got himself. He's bounded up to the feet very well there. It's been a furious pace to this one, the intensity. Shields just bringing... Excellent aggression in these wrestling exchanges. You've seen a big sigh. Like, nearly like a frustrated sigh from Aiden there. That yeah. Second take then happened. Yeah, pretty negative demeanor from him at the end of the first round and again right here late in the second. And it is a close fight, but Shields has certainly had some great moments of success. Landed some really impactful strikes. Could be enough to have him up two, two rounds of the scorecards, you would think. Yeah, definitely a hard one. You could see, you could make a case for Michael 2-0 oh here. But their, their rays are close. You know, there's not a lot in them. Underway, third and final round. And Boyle trying to press forward now and land those big shots and get to the hips. And he's got the legs almost, almost together. He's connected on a single now. We've seen some good takedown defense by Shields so far in this one. It's a good decision for O'Boyle to go up to look for the strike there. Yeah, and it's paid off. I was about to say maybe the wrong position achieved, but he countered it really well. And now this could be the most important two minutes and 15 seconds of Aiden O'Boyle's amateur career. Yeah, he's got a, a two minute window to, uh, to make something big happen. Top half guard, can he land some damaging blows? See, Shields has the right under hook here, which may land yeah. in his favour. It's causing problems for O'Boyle because he can't just posture up now to land shots. He's, he's not got the position secured. You need that under hook so you can use the other hand to land some big shots. It's a danger of the, the clock working against him here too if he did in fact drop those first couple of rounds on the judges scorecards yeah he's going to need a lot more than this control initially Do you know but then 
sometimes Paul when you're commentating a 23 fight card things start blending together and was there a round that he feels or his coach feels or more importantly the two judges feels yep. that he was able to edge we won't know until the fight if it goes does go the distance until it ends Shields trying desperately to uh, tie his opponent up and maybe mount him the fence himself running out of time 45 seconds here Clock is running down. Aiden Boyle has been unsuccessful in his attempt to pass this guard. He finds himself now in the in the open guard, the closed guard now. But he's landed shots all the way. So you'd imagine he's taken the third round. It's going to depend on how the first two were scored. There's two ways to look at that statement, Paul. Was he unsuccessful in being able to pass the guard, or was Michael Shields successful in keeping him there? Yeah, a little bit of both, you would think. But yeah, let's. Uh, we're going to have to go and see what the judges have to say. Shields looks confident that he's won. In my mind, he won the first two rounds, but uh, as you Let's said, see, Paul. we can only throw in our best guess. And we are not be responsible for the judging. first man in the building to know the result. I will. Go check it out. Three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this bout 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision. And now the Euro Featherweight Champion, Michael Shields!